still have the women's 200 breaststroke open final. What do you predict here, Gronje? I think we're going to have to look at our two uh, up and coming athletes. Well, Mona is, is, is quite very established, so everyone is aware about Mona, but we have to look in lane seven, Neve Coyne. Um, yeah, she's been swimming great. She's swimming great. She got under the 109 yesterday. Again, we're talking about those barriers. That is a barrier, 109 for yeah. 100 breaststroke. Uh, I can't say I've done it. Um, <laughs> But that's okay, because yeah. you've probably never done 800, so... That's true, that's true. So Mona McSharry, real specialist in the 50, the 100, the 200 slightly longer, but she knows how to swim breaststroke. She's got that hip drive, that big, powerful leg kick. Like, I can even see from here how much her legs are turning out on that back kick. Do you see how much water she's capturing? Yes. So she's got that real kind of explosiveness, and then that glide phase, which is so important too. So Mona McSharry and Georgia Coates. Georgia from Bath, a really strong up and coming swimmer too. She was a 228 this morning. Mona came in the 232, but Mona's best is a 27, I believe. So Mona holds, holds the Irish junior and senior. She's too old to do the junior anymore. She holds the two, uh, the senior record. So she would have taken that off of Fiona Doyle. Yes, it definitely would have been from Fiona. But um, again, Settling into the strokes, second 50, looking strong, and then that breaststroke, that really crazy event where you can see people. So, stroke for stroke here. Mona is also the defending champion for the last two years in this event, so she's going to want to make this a three yeah, in a row. She's a warrior. She doesn't yeah. like to lose, that's for sure. So, um, Grace and Sinead will be watching closely from Bally Shannon Marlins. And John Rudd. John will be watching this closely too to see Mona and also to, watch, to keep an eye on Neve. Neve Coyne is in lane seven from the National um, Centre in Dublin. So Coates coming up to 125, holding the lead in that bright hat. Mona probably can still see her, so it'll be really interesting to see if Mona can increase that tempo and bring it home on the last 50. She has increased her stroke rate there now once she hit 125, so Mona's stroke rate has increased. She's still keeping that long glide. Neve Coyle also looking really comfortable, really like her stroke. You know, it's a really kind of core driven stroke, keeping that length out front. She's up in lane seven. She'll be turning in fourth, just behind Orla Adams, who we kind of can't really see from up here. Orla Adams, we can't forget. I'm going to move my seat kind of close. So Orla Adams, so Orla Adams is actually coming. Oh, Orla Adams is actually going for second here. Orla Adams is coming through pretty strong. Mona, there's not a chance Mona can see her. So it's going to be Mona and Orla Adams with a clear winner out right front with Georgia Coates from Bath. And 229 is the European Championship qualifier. I think Mona's holding on just. I think I think Adams has just slipped ahead there now. She's going to be after that 229, 27. Yeah. Orla Coates Adams got, got her European Championships time. Coates got it. Did Adams get it? Adams got it. Two, 229, 43, and the qualifying time is just off it. No. 2.29.43 and the qualifying time is 2.29.27. Still, these are consideration yeah, times. It's an impressive swim, Orla Adams. Really came back so strong on that. Impressive So close, 2.29.43, point two off of the European Championships mm -hmm. time. So Mona McSharry, slightly off her best, but she's done the job already this week in terms of 100 probably be disappointed that she didn't get the win-win for the Irish nation but that's what swimming's all about that's what competition's all about you have to win some to lose yep. some and it's, yeah. it's learning it's how journey. to deal with the losing as well big time um, like Mona got her time she, she, for all we know she's back in heavy training 